Hey all the robot here in today's video I'll be covering everything you need to know to create your first track from environments, types of track and a whole bunch of customization options. Before jumping into track builder I'd suggest completing Hot Wheels City Rumble or making some progress upon it as this mode will unlock new track pieces for you to use within the builder such as this the Haunted House Race Start piece. The first step to creating any track is deciding the environment your track will be within. You can choose from basement, skate park, college campus, garage, skyscraper, and a special one just for custom tracks, the track room. Each of these different environments have pre-placed objects for you to design your track around. Next up, you'll need to decide if you're creating a circuit or a course. Circuits are lap-based races and your track will need to loop. Courses are point to point races, so you'll start in one location and finish in another. You have a whole host of different pieces to choose from, ranging from standard banner style starts to larger ones like the ultimate parking lot and ones based off the bosses within Hot Wheels City Rumble. Once your start is in place, it is on to creating the rest of your track. You'll want to experiment a little to start, as then you can get used to how to control the builder. A few important things to note, the left and right bumper buttons are key to customization. These are LB and RB on Xbox, and L1 and R1 on PlayStation, and so on. Now let's take a look at those customizations with, you're guessing it, the bumper buttons. At the top left of your screen you'll see a menu that is navigated by holding down the right bumper button and then using the left and right on your d-pad. This menu is core to the adjustments and buildings. Construction is the new pieces, placing and extending of track. Modify allows you to go back to any element on your track and adjust it. Interactive objects allows you to place boosters and blockers upon existing parts of your track. Let's step through each of these in a little more detail. Construction is your go-to tab, and this is the one for placing track pieces. You'll navigate through a large catalogue of different pieces split into categories. Basic includes everything from standard pieces, checkpoints, loops, and invisible modules. Special includes magnetic modules for those who haven't yet played Hot Wheels City Rumble, these pieces keep your car fixed upon the track, even upside down. As well as more loops, fans, tunnels and splits, of which there are a few different types. Animated features some of the more cruel and tough pieces. These interact with the race. For example, with the spider, it'll fire webs at the races, slowing them down. Let's play some track and look at how the simple looking pieces become so flexible. For example, using the orange track, you'll notice that when it's highlighted within the category, its preview is shown with a grid upon it as the next piece in my track. You can then use the left analog stick to turn the piece left and right, or extend and shrink the piece with up and down. To raise or lower the track, you'll hold the left bumper while it's going up and down on the left analog stick. To create S-Bends, you'll once again hold the left bumper this time going left and right on the left analog stick. Don't worry if your track suddenly messes up or you're not able to place your track because it's intercepted with another element. Push down the left analog stick and it'll reset the piece. You can do a lot more to customize your track such as rotations. To do these, you'll hold the right bumper and then use the left analog stick which will allow you to flex the track in various ways. One thing to know at this point is about the roll offset. This changes the point at which your track will bend, whether that's on one side, in the middle, or allowing the game to decide. To adjust this, you hold the right bumper and push down on the left analog stick. You'll see that it updates the information in the top right of your screen. Like the standard track adjustments, if you wish to reset the piece, push down on the left analog stick. Once you've got your track in place, you'll want to make sure you confirm its placement 
and doing so will automatically move you on to the next piece. Let's now take a look at modifying the track. To access the modify options, hold the right bumper and go right on your D-pad to navigate the menu in the top left. You'll notice that the grid upon your track is blue and your options are now limited. You'll be able to navigate through your track using up and down on the D-pad. You'll notice that we still have the customization button in the bottom left and if we push that it'll open the adjustments panel for each piece we currently have selected. In this window you'll be able to adjust a range of things that depends on the piece you've selected such as the colour of the track, the left and right walls. Each wall can have a different element attached to it such as ramps, lights, flags and signs. Make sure to confirm each of your selections before exiting the customization menu or else they'll be reset. This same menu is available within the construction tab when you place the pieces. However, I've found I prefer to build out the track and then customize it. Also within the modification tab, you'll be able to delete blocks of the track. To do this, find the piece of track that you wish to delete and highlight it. Then confirm your selection. This then opens the pieces catalog again Hold left bumper and you'll be able to delete by pressing B on Xbox, O on PlayStation and so on. The final tab to check out is interactive objects. This is how you add hazards and power ups to your track. One thing to note here is depending on the start block you've used, you may have more modules you can place. This is because some of the environmental hazards from Hot Wheels City Rumble boss battles will be accessible when using the track start piece. For example, the ghosts are placeable if you're using the haunted house start piece. It's super easy to place your objects, select them from the catalog, move them to the piece of track you want them in and hit confirm. For the more complex modules, you'll get a few customization options that will allow you to adjust the length. These complex modules are the boosters you'll have seen throughout Hot Wheels City Rumble. They can accelerate you, charge your booster, or help you stay stuck to the course magnetically. To adjust the length of these, when you are placing them, hold the right bumper and you'll be able to use the left analog stick to stretch and shorten the elements before placing them. They can in most cases be as long as you like when on standard track. If you're on special pieces then your adjustment options for the interactive object will be more limited. You can test your course at any time using any of the cars you wish. Once the track is complete, head back into the menu to validate. You'll need to complete a lap of your course and this makes sure that the track is playable. Once validated, you'll be able to save and upload your creation to share with friends. And there you have it. This is just the basics of creating tracks and courses. I hope this helps you to get some fantastic races and I can't wait to check out what you come up with. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button to let me know. I'll have more videos soon, so if you don't want to miss out, make sure to hit that sub too. But until next time, have a great day and I'll catch you soon.